Hi there, Mar Bowden here, expert in human behavior and body language. Question, how do you improve how you show up on camera without really improving the camera? So whether you're doing a video call or a video recording especially, because maybe you're a trainer, maybe you are a manager and you send out messages to your team, you wanna show up best as you possibly can because people judge you just like you're judging me right now. How do I give the best effect on camera really without changing anything about the camera? Let me give you two important ways and one of them is to do with a piece of AI which I think is really useful. So look, first way is the position of your camera. No matter what camera you're using, I've got a particularly good camera that I'm on right now. You don't need a camera at this level, but no matter what camera you have, what is the position of it and is it at eye level so you get great eye contact? Here's how I do it. Little trick, it's called the PlexiCam. I place my camera on this great piece of uh, plexiglass here and it means I can hang it on the screen, just as I'm doing right now on that B camera there, uh, Logitech Brio, by the way, totally fine camera, totally good for any kind of purpose, as you can see, but it means I can hang it right in the center of my screen and see all the detail that's going on around it and get eye contact. So if I'm on a, uh, on a Zoom call, for example, I can see everybody else. If I'm having to refer to a presentation that I'm making, again, I can see everything else around it. Look, I've even got my big Sony 7C there with the G Master lens hanging there right in the center of the screen, as you can see. Let me hang the B camera back up over here. Go back to this camera. Here, by the way, uh, if you want to get a PlexiCam, and it's one of the best things you could get to improve your image because of getting that eye contact. By the way, eye contact will improve levels of oxytocin and dopamine in your viewers, in your audience, which means they're going to feel more attached to you. They'll feel more buoyant and optimistic about the message you're giving because you're getting great eye contact with them all the time. If you want to get a PlexiCam, hit the link below. Okay, and that will give you 10% off PlexiCamp. I'm an ambassador for PlexiCamp, but I'm not going to earn any money out of that particular transaction. You'll get all the benefit of that. I just think it's a great, great product, and I want people to know about it. The sooner you get your camera at eye level so that you can get great eye contact and be able to see people around and make connection with those, the more optimistic they're going to feel about you and your content. So you don't need to improve the camera. You need to improve the camera's position while you're trying to deal with all the other stuff that's going on on the screen. Now, how else can you improve the look of yourself without improving the look? By improving how people are feeling about you, just like with that eye contact. Now we're going to do how do you improve your sound? Now, look, you know, how's that going to improve the vision? Well, if your sound is at a bad quality, it takes up neural load because the brain is having to make up the differences between distortions and 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 just uh, difficult to hear sound and um, and what they'd like to be hearing, uh, undistorted, less difficult. And so, uh, if you can improve neural load by making your sound clearer, there's more brain left over to compute or deal with the human image. It's less neural load. People feel better around you. Improve your sound and you will improve the idea of your image. So how do you do that? Well, of course, you could go down the route of buying better microphones. And, you know, I got a great microphone here. Again, about a thousand dollars of sound equipment. Don't go down that road. You don't really need to. Okay. Uh, I'll take you through my equipment at some point, by the way, if you do want to go down that road. But at this point, I don't want you to be thinking about that. I want you to be thinking about if you're making a video for people, maybe you're making a, a, a video, maybe you're going to record a Zoom conversation or, or presentation and send that out to people. How do you get great sound without having to spend a huge amount of money on a mic? AI is going to help you here. 
there is a brilliant piece of AI, which is relatively new out there, whereby you can put terrible sound into it. It goes off, it gets its little elves to, uh, to do some calculations. The elves come back and they take away all the distortions and background noise and, and reverberation or traffic noise if you're outside or or wind noise if you're outside or you know kids playing in the background if you're in your home office they take it away just like that it's astonishing and it's completely free here's where you're going to get it okay from adobe it's called enhance link down below you just sign up you take the video that you've recorded take the sound pop it in there you wait a little while it comes back again now you'll have to then put it in a piece of editing software but look you know you can do that you'll be all right you'll, you'll work that bit out and if you can't i'll do a video on it okay sound comes back great let me give you an example of this so what you're hearing right now is let's call it you know thousand dollar sound okay this is sound through a thousand dollars of sound equipment okay now i'm going to go over to the logitech here and now we're just on a logitech mic notice the difference okay notice the difference now i'm going to take this sound and put it through adobe's enhance ai and now listen to what you get how about that what do you think to that now shall we go between this enhanced logitech mic sound okay and my thousand dollar sound over here okay thousand dollars of sound over here okay totally free logitech sound through enhance over here how does this sound to you and how does this sound to you over here and now let's go back to the unenhanced logitech sound how's that sounding to you can you really feel the difference unenhanced and now here's enhanced sound feel the difference Feel how you feel more connected to me when there's that enhanced sound? Do you get a sense of how even the image is improved when we improve the sound? Let's go back to this one over here, $1,000 of sound over here, okay? And back over here to the Logitech, totally free sound over here. Still, it is present. By present, we mean at hand. That's literally what presence means, at hand. That, uh, that... I'm available to you. I'm close to you. And the closer I feel to you, the more connected you feel to me and the more engaged you're going to be with me and my content and my leadership for you if I'm a manager. Let's go back over here. So look, get that camera at eye level, Plexicam, link below, go and get your 10% off, easy to do. I won't benefit, you'll benefit Go and do that, okay? And then think about enhance if you are recording on your Logitech, for example, or any other camera that you have. I just think Logitech is a great, great, simple camera to have. But the mic is not great, okay? So if you're making a video that you want to have an effect, you want to run it through the sound through enhance to make all of that present difference. Mark Bowden, expert in human behavior and body language. Catch you around. Bye now.